Hey, look at that beautiful skin on my screen. Hi, Kendra. How are you? Good. How are you? What's your name, Mama? I'm Lavera. Lavera. How do you spell that? It's L A V E R A H. And I'm L A V E R A H. Lavera, where you call me from, Mama? I'm in Clarksburg, Maryland. Say again. Clarksburg, Maryland. Maryland. Okay, Maryland. How old are you? I am forty-five. Okay. Forty-five. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Cap Capricorn. Cap Capricorn. Yes, ma'am. Do you have any I, kids? I do. I have a 13-year-old son. Okay. Have you been married? Yes, I have. Okay. When did you get divorced? 2012. 2012. Okay. So we got Lavera, Maryland, 45 Capricorn, mom to a 13-year-old son, uh, was once married. What do you do for a living? I work in marketing. I work in the pharmaceutical industry, so I'm a marketer. Marketer. Yep. Okay. All right. I think I got it all. Lavera, Maryland, 45 Capricorn. Mom to a 13 year old son and works in marketing, was once married. Was you married to your son's father? Uh, yes, I was. Okay. It was All a right. short marriage. A short marriage. Okay. But you got a baby. I sure did. Beautiful son. All right, let's do it. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Okay. Um, I am looking for somebody who's a father. So I would prefer a man who's already been a parent or, or is a parent. However, I would like somebody who has a child older than mine. So my child is 13. So anybody with an older child is great. Um, just because I really don't want to deal with somebody who has younger children. I've, I, I am a single mom. I've parented my son since he was six months old by, by myself. So I'm not really looking for somebody who has small children because I just don't want to go down that path again. Um, however, I'm happy to um, be a mom to older kids, um, older like my son. Um, the other thing I'm really looking for is somebody who is seasoned in his profession. So anybody who is still trying to figure out what they want to do with their life, who doesn't know the kind of path they want to take from a career perspective is probably not going to be a good match for me. So someone older who's seasoned is what I'm looking for. I also want someone who is a, um, Spiritual, somebody who has a faith-based. Um, so someone who goes to church, someone who prays, somebody who understands what it's like to be, um, you know, guided by God or, or, or something higher than what he is. Um, you know, somebody who believes in a higher being, I should say. Um, okay. I also want someone who knows what they want somebody who takes care of themselves I mean are you you know eating right are you going to the doctor are you seeing a therapist or have you seen a therapist have you worked on yourself um, somebody who takes good care of their hygiene their health eats the right things just really somebody who loves themselves enough to take care of themselves okay. um, I don't know. I'm taking over all of your <laughs> questions, but I can't. <laughs> no, no, it's just, you know what I have? I had another woman on Facebook tonight, and you kind of reminded me of her. And it's just, I think some women are just being very clear. And she was 45 too. So I th I'm 45 too. So I think when you get to this age, you just know what you want. Exactly. Um, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe that was the common, the, the common thread, because she was also 45. So what are your deal breakers? Um, I really don't want anybody who has multiple uh, baby mothers because um, that can get really complicated and messy. So I'm not looking for that. Um, I also really would like somebody who loves to travel because I travel a lot and I travel with my child all the time. So if, if somebody hasn't really ventured outside of the Caribbean, <laughs> that might not necessarily be a match for me. I want someone who's really well-traveled. Um, I also would really like somebody who's um, got a really good relationship with the women in his life. So what's your relationship with your mother, your sisters, your cousins who are female? Because to me, that's an indication of the type of person that um, you would be to other women or to, or, or to a woman you're interested in. Um, and then I also, uh, another deal breaker is, um, you know, somebody who just doesn't seem to know what he wants out of life. Um, I, I really want to date with intention. So if, if you're still trying to figure it out, I'm probably not the girl for you. Okay. Should he look a certain way? Um, I really, I'm focused on somebody who takes care of themselves. Oh, that's how I'm going to ask you about your well-traveled requirement. So if a guy is not well-traveled, can you like show him the world? Well, we can do it together. Yes. I want someone who's open to it. Okay. So yes.
if you're open... Let me ask you this. Would you date outside your race? Yes, I would. Okay, you would date outside your race. Okay. I... Uh, so now we're at that question. Should the guy look a certain way? Um, I was going to say I need somebody... Well, I'm 5'2". I'm um, so any any guy over 5'10". Yeah, you... Girl, you got it good. 5'2". Five, 5'2". Five, so you date a guy 5'7". <laughs> no, 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 no. I really want someone who's about 5'10". 5'10"? <laughs> okay, so 5'10 and up. Yeah, 5'10 and up is, is, is really where I, I'm, I'm most comfortable. Okay. Yeah. So what about, is it any race? Yep, any race. Okay. Mm -hmm. as, okay. long, as long as you're single and um, you are open to other races, then yeah, we can definitely date. Okay. What about money? Should you make a certain amount of money? I said initially that if you are seasoned in your profession, then we can work with whatever that is because... Um, season in profession means that you've got a multiple, maybe decades in your career field. So you, you probably have a, a really good stable, um, lifestyle and that's really what I'm looking for. Would you for. date a man that made 70 K? It wouldn't match with my lifestyle. No. Okay. okay. Would you date a man that made 80 K? No. Would you date a man that made a hundred K? Probably not. Okay. Good job. I feel like. Like I'm hosting a game show right now. <laughs> Would you date a man? Because look, y'all be trying to go all around. Just, 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 let's just, and the people say, why do, why do you get this direct? Because so then the guys can know if they don't got a shot, right? Like, you know, sometimes I'm going to say, I don't want to date a guy that's white. So the white man watching, she'll, not saying this is your case, but if a guy don't make it, he don't got an option. So 100K is, okay, 110? Does he have a chance? Uh, I would say it depends on the profession, okay? Because if you're a teacher or maybe a, and you've been teaching for 25 years, you're probably maxed out at maybe 140, 150. But to me, that's an honorable profession and I can work with that, right? Um, so it, it really depends on the profession. But I, I think anything below 150 is probably still too oh. low. <laughs> below 150 is too low. So ideally, you want somebody 200K and more. That would, would be aligned with where I'm what at. What do you do yes. again? And that's what you make, 200K or more? Yeah. So I'm, a, I'm assuming you're around these men. Do you normally date men in that tax bracket? I haven't dated in a long time because when I got divorced, I prioritized taking care of my child. So have you ever dated a man that made your tax bracket requirement? Yes, I have. Okay. And what happened with him? We just just didn't align or we 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 spent a lot of time spinning our wheels and it didn't work so never a relationship it was a relationship for a good number of years but it just didn't work out okay okay fair enough so you have been in a relationship with a man that makes that tax bracket okay because yes, that's what people will ask yes. have you ever did that all right fair enough so the humbleness anything 150k probably is not gonna work okay 200k you know what huh? Well, listen, I think 150, depending on the profession, is very, very noble. It's a good income um, for, for somebody who is in a profession that is seasoned. You know, and again, it depends on what you do. On what you do. Exactly. Listen, no, I, I'm with you, girlfriend. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> I think that, the, where, where do you live? Maryland. Okay. What it always comes down, it's a numbers game, right? It's a numbers game. How many men... One thing that you do have in your favor, you're open to other races. Yes. So you're not just seeking black men. So that does open up the pool more for your percentage wise in that in that category. So and this is why I asked you where you open other races, because if you are, you know, you you'll have more options. Yes, that is okay. Correct. All right. Yeah. Let's do the Kendra Cam. All right. Uh let me see. I'm in my kitchen, so give me a second. Let me position my camera and make sure that it works so that you can see um you gotta see go. your legs okay you i see what i can see okay all right we got you boo okay i see that booty sitting <laughs> they say i'm always talking about somebody's butt well that's what i see child what you want me to say all right lavera correct that is correct okay don't have your head cut off girl don't have your head cut off oh don't have your head cut off all right thank you all right my name right now you told me you haven't dated in a long time when was your last relationship um probably 18 months ago that's when i was really seriously in the relationship girl that is that's short when people say a long time to me it'd be oh. years 
Okay. Well, 18, me, <laughs> Although um, 18 months is one yeah. year. Yeah. Okay, but, so 18 months. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? About the same time. Okay. Eight. All right. Three flaws you have to work on. Gosh. Um, I think uh, this may not sound like a flaw, but some people have complained about this. But I'm very resourceful, which means that I will push you and drive you. And sometimes people don't like that because just because I'm ready to go doesn't mean everybody else is. Um, I'm also, unfortunately, I like a very tidy, neat environment. So I've got a little bit of OCD, um, which can be a flaw for some people. And um, I'm very driven. That's sometimes a flaw for others. So those are my flaws. <laughs> okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, because I am, you know, I, I, I really do believe that I have done the work necessary to, to be a good partner. I'm looking for a life partner. I'd like to get married again. Um, I believe that I can be a support system. I can help um, build a home. Uh, chart the path for the future. Um, I am uh, very focused on um, getting somebody who's spiritual, who is a leader, and who wants to live and pray and 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 get a um, get us to what is ordained for us by God. So I think I would be really good for somebody who's ready to 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 travel that path with me. Okay, okay, okay. So Lavera, Maryland, forty-five Capricorn. Mom to a 13-year-old son, works in marketing. Should the guy be in Maryland? Ideally, yes. Okay. <laughs> Ideally, I would prefer yes. that. <laughs> and then what is um, the age range you want to date? Um, I would say 40, um, and I would go all the way up to 60. 40 up to 60, okay. And are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? No, I am not. All right, you got to download the app, baby girl. You got all this stuff going on. I should treat you the way you're going to treat this man, child. You ain't, you ain't on the app. I need to hate you. No, I'm going to give you a chance. <laughs> Lavera, how do you spell your name? Um, It's L-A-V-E-R-A-H. L-A-V-E-R-A-H. That is correct. Okay, that's unique. That name does not exist on my app. So you can, I mean, we have usernames too, but your name, they'll be able to search it. So what kind of phone? Do you have an iPhone or an Android? I do have an iPhone. Go to your iPhone, type in Kendra G Singles, download the, ver download the app and set up your profile so the man who makes 200K, <laughs> it could be any race, 5'10", well-traveled, yeah. knows what he wants, ready for a life partnership, yep. seasoned in his career, exactly. can reach out to you. Awesome. Thank you so much. You summed it up great. I appreciate <laughs> I you. You are awesome. Was, gorgeous. Thank you so much. I want to just say this to that. Um, I say all women who, who make that amount of money and around those men, listen, I love that y'all call me and I, and I own a whole dating app and this is what I do for a living. But I always say your, your highest probability is your real life who. So if you are around these men that make these, this type of money, you know, pick their brain, ask them if they got a friend. Cause that network is really what you want to get to. And I think that. Although people think these men are just plentiful, pl plentiful on the planet, they're really not. So if you're around these 200K plus men, you, you need to try to close your life partnership deal instead of trying to close your business deal. I agree. I agree. And and I'm working on it. I mean, I just decided to dip my toes back into the pool. So that we'll is see. True. I think, listen, you keep me posted how it goes. I will. Thank you okay. so much. Wonderful. Bye, baby. All right. Bye. Bye. Um, um, yeah, I want to just say, like, that's the thing that I've learned. Look, I'm around a lot of very high, wealthy men. I'll say it like that because high quality, I don't want to use that word. I'll just say men who got money. Um, and one thing I have always noticed is, you know, I'm a worker. So most of the times I'm in the room because I'm working, my profession, what I do. But there's always other girls there who are trying to close their husband deal right and they be fine they be beautiful they be focused on their husband deal and i think the notion to that is when they talk about colleges and they say like white girls go to college to find their husband whereas most black women are going to college to find their careers i'm not mad at that to be quite honest because i believe you should have something you know to yourself um but i do believe that 
something that sometimes black women do wrong is they just think the guy's gonna fall from the sky. <laughs> and it doesn't always work that way, right? So you can learn a little bit from these women who be husband focused. Like I'm a, I'm here to close a husband deal. I ain't trying to close no damn business deal. I ain't trying to close no damn, you know, you know, black like you know, boss women just be trying to close business deals. Now that's a deal too, and I get that too, but don't forget your husband deal. Don't forget that's what you want. Don't forget. All right, let's keep on. Kendra G Singles, the dating app is available now on your iPhone and your Android phones. Just go to your Apple Store or your Google Play Store and download it now. Kendra G Singles, the dating app.